I'm sure by now a lot of you have seen the reports that have come out about the WWE is going to do a draft in October. Yippee! Hooray! Or for some of you. Yes, 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 yes. <sighs> What's the point? Why bother with doing another one of these drafts? Really? And I mean seriously. Look at the last time, what was it, April, they did a superstar shakeup? You know, part of the thing of doing a brand split is trying to have enough space for people to be able to be featured and be able to have work. I get that. There's also the ability to have two brands traveling simultaneously in different locations, trying to expand your scope and reach. I get that. From a business standpoint, it makes sense. However, what this company always does instead, or at least in recent times does, whenever they go back down this brand split type of model, they eventually undercut it every chance they get. And in recent months, we've seen this wild card rule, which means a couple of people from Raw can appear on SmackDown, and a couple of people from SmackDown can appear on Raw. And yet now we've gotten to the point where anybody just appears on any game show. Like you look at this week and Bailey's heel turn, even though she's the SmackDown Women's Champion, it happened on the main event of Raw. The follow-up happened on the opening of SmackDown. If you're going to do a brand split, then by God, do it. If you're going to make a big deal out of having this draft, and who knows who's going to end up where, and it's going to create new matchups and new talents on new shows and new rivalries and new stories and all of this, then actually follow through. Because if you don't, then it is just one ginormous, God-blessed waste of freaking time. Which, of course, so often happens now in the modern WWE. Feels like most everything is just kind of a circle jerk and a ginormous waste of time. If you're going to do this whole draft in October and then two or three months later as you get into Royal Rumble season and get into the heart of WrestleMania season, you're just going to have people appearing on any show that you want to, then it defeats the whole purpose of doing the draft and it just was nothing more than having a draft be a pathetic one week ratings bump type of attempt deal. And we don't need that. We need stuff that provides long-term entertainment value, not one of these quick instant fixes that just again remind you of how much everything is a ginormous waste of time. So if you're asking me at this point in time, do I see any real point in doing a draft knowing that this company probably will go back on it in a few months? Not really. Unless you look at it from this perspective. SmackDown is changing nights, it's changing networks, it's going to be on Fox. Maybe there is going to be an element at play here where the WWE is trying to serve multiple masters, whereas both Raw and SmackDown were in the USA family on the USA Network. You could more easily justify bouncing the talents back and forth between the shows. Now... Are USA Network and Fox really going to be that crazy about and that open to the idea of the premise of a raw talent also appearing on another network and helping out their ratings, competing against whatever happens to be airing on that other network on a given night? The answer is probably not. It will also be interesting in the grand scheme of things to see which show ultimately gets the most love from WWE. Because as much of a working relationship there is with USA and as much history as there is with USA and how Raw is the flagship show, ultimately SmackDown, while being the B show, is now going to be on free over-the-air network television, which exposes it to millions of more households than even what the USA network could do as a superpower in the world of cable television. There are more homes, more availability, more potential eyeballs on Fox than there are on USA Network. So there could be an element, there could be a component of the different talents appearing on the different shows, appearing on the different networks, 
then a brand split could actually potentially work. And because of the powers that be and the powers that play on the networks for both USA and Fox, there may be less willingness to have the talent bounce back and forth between different shows because then you get to the point of, well, if you want this SmackDown person to appear on Raw, let's say you move Brock Lesnar over to SmackDown for his sporadic appearances. Oh, you want him on Raw on the road to WrestleMania? Well, we want Roman Reigns over here on SmackDown on the road to WrestleMania. You know, it just could create a lot of issues. I think it couldn't happen. It just, if you're going to do this WWE, then by God, actually stick to it. The rare time you have a Raw person appear on SmackDown or a SmackDown person appear on Raw, make it rare, make it feel like a big deal, make it feel like it's something special, something unique. Don't just sit there and undercut it and forget about it in a few weeks and just do whatever the hell you want anyways, because then that makes neither one of the shows stand out and makes all the other talents feel pretty much exactly the same, which maybe is part of your uh, insidious grand design to begin with. But I'm sure we'll see come next month people will be excited about this person's going this place and that person's going that place. And in the grand scheme of things, I just have to sit there and kind of look at this cynically and be like, why are we excited about it? Why would we care? What is such the big deal and so special about the WWE doing the draft? Unless they are actually going to, by God, stick to the stipulation. If they are truly going to create a unique raw brand and have it be its own entity and kind of like little micro company and SmackDown be its own unique brand on its own unique network and be kind of its own micro property within the WWE scope, then the draft is just going to be a stupid waste of time on television and a stupid waste of time, period. 